I think they're getting along really well, actually. I think they're understanding the offense more and more, you know, uh -huh. more experience, especially with our fast tempo. That's the best thing you can have is just reps. So the more reps they can get, you know, the better they'll be. You've had your reps. Um, so I don't think you, know, you need them in this service, those guys behind you. Um, where do you see the growth of some of those guys behind you? Who, who do you feel like's had a good offseason? spring into summer and then summer into fall camp. Yeah, I think there's a couple guys behind me. PB, Addison, Bison is, is working a lot. Um, I think Bison and Addison, you know, PB obviously knows the offense really well and, and kind of knows his role. And Bison and Addison have, have taken a step forward, I think, behind me. And I think they're, you know, both big guys, strong guys that can hold up in the middle. So as long as they can get the, you know, the smarts down with it and the fine details, it'll be good. How hard was that going? I mean, you go back to your first year understanding this offense and then even in your team. Did, could you notice a change, a difference for you just in the speed at what you were able to, to kind of deliver the offense in? Yeah, I think so. I think the more you do anything, obviously, the, the more efficient you'll be at it and the better you'll be at it. So I think, you know, just me being able to stay healthy and, and having a lot more time to get comfortable and see defenses and, and understand the game better, I think that makes you faster all around. What, what young guys? I don't mean just to go back and you up, but what other young guys in the offensive line do you feel like have maybe taken a step? You know, maybe weren't ready a year ago, may not be ready this year, but have you seen progression out of it? Yeah, young guys. I would I would say you look at the guard spot. We got a lot of young guys in the guard spot. Um, Mo Clipper, um, Masai Reddick, Addison Nichols plays all the interior spots. So just getting them, you know, just more experience in our offense and just in the college game, it's a hard it's a hard thing to adjust to, especially in O-line. So they, I think they've taken steps forward, changing their bodies around and, and getting stronger, and then more mental reps. That'll help them, too. Being a local guy here, apologies if this has already been asked, going okay. into your senior season, you know, just what's this whole experience been like for you? Really special for me. I've had to take on a, no, a new role for our team. Um, I think I was a little bit of a leader and, and a Pretty, pretty good leader last year, but I've had to take over a lot of Jerome's role that he held, and uh, you know I've just been kind of trying to run with it and trying to get as best as I can at it. So it's it's been going really well. I'm I'm happy about how it's going. And to have such you know deep roots not only here but in Knoxville too, just as right. a whole as a city. You know what it, what's kind of been on your mind going into your senior year? Just trying to trying to focus in, you know, lock in, be intentional with everything I do, but at the same time being able to enjoy my family and everybody that's around. I've got a little brother who's eight years old now, and you know he's growing up so fast. So just being around my family, getting to spend a lot of time with them, help them with whatever, whatever they need help with, it's, it's been big for my off season. And to think that uh, you know, former Knox Catholic teammate Tyler Barron's right here with you, yeah. what's that like? It's, it's cool, I haven't really, you know, that's, I just realized who was gonna be with me. So he's over there, he's doing his thing. I'm, I'm doing, you know, I'm doing pretty well with my thing that I've got going on. So I think, Coach Matthews just had a, um, our high school coach, he just had an interview talking about my journey from back in the day when I was in high school to here now. And it's, it's, been, a, it's been a fun ride, but it, it really put it in perspective for me. I don't think Addison had a ton of experience uh, playing center before he got to Tennessee. Just how have you seen him grow at that spot the last year and a half? Yeah, I think he's gotten a lot, a lot better at knowing the, the, just kind of finding the way to play the position. I came out of high school, I didn't play any center really in high school either. My first time playing it was against Florida my freshman year was my first time getting like real live action at it and it was it's just a growing pain you know guards and tackles kind of play a little bit more similar but centers its own spot so it just takes a lot of time and a lot of a lot of reps to figure out how to use your body and, and know how to play in that position. Obviously there's going to be a lot of high school time about it there a lot of competition behind you for the backup center spots just mm -hmm. how do you help those guys and uh, how fun is I guess was it the watching spring? Man, got to help them mentally, obviously, but putting a good example for it, you know, I, I try to do everything the right way and, you know, take every rep, you know, with the right intention and being intentional about everything that I do. So showing a good example and then when I get to the back, looking at them, seeing what they got going on, seeing where they're messing up and what they need help with, stuff that I did wrong that can easily be corrected, you know, just as easy as just stopping it and saying, hey, look at this and this and let's fix it and then they'll go again and they'll get it. So, you know, it's hard. It's like I said, it's a hard position. And it's it's unique. So any help that I can give, I, I try to give it. You've got five other Catholic alums. I mean, it's a half dozen from the Fighting Irish that are here. What is that like? And what's it like to have Cody Duncan here? Yeah, super special. Cody's a, a couple seats down in the locker room for me. So it's been really nice. Just 
having a familiar factor, you know, obviously I'm from the area, so it's, it's comfortable for me either way, but just being able to come in here and see familiar faces that I've known for years and years, like a lot of the guys that are in the locker room, I've known them since middle school. So just another, another face that can, you know, bring you closer to home. And then you mentioned that journey that Coach Matthews was talking about. If, if Cooper Mays now could talk to incoming freshman Cooper Mays, what might be some of the things you just say, hey, watch out for this? Man, I would tell him just try to try to calm down. You know, I think a lot of people when they come into college football, it's a really anxious time. You know, just going to college in and of itself is a hard time. But then when you add in football, it's a whole different animal. So I would just, you know, cool out with the anxiety. It's going to be okay. It's just football. Like, it's just the game. Just do what you need to do to be prepared and, and work the right way, and it'll all, it'll all pan out. Off the tackles, competition will be a big storyline we talked about. Just kind of what have you seen from those guys from the spring into the summer? A lot of growth. You know, <clears throat> Dane Davis is a guy that has been here for a long time. He's doing really well, and he continues to do really well. John Campbell's a new guy that has just transferred in from Miami. Um, big guy that's athletic, knows how to move, has powerful hands. Um, Gerald Mincy, J.J. Crawford that played a lot last year. Both guys, you know, got great physical attributes, the size and everything, and then they're continuing to grow in their mental aspect of it. But I've seen a lot of progress out of everybody in the room. You know, iron sharpens iron, so the better, the more, more, my oh, golly, the better people that you have in the room, it'll bring everybody else along. Were you 